The Iranian army boasts some impressive machines in its arsenal. But are they powerful enough to face the strongest militaries in the world? What are the most formidable military vehicles in the Islamic Republic of Iran army? And what secrets lie behind their design and capabilities? Well, today we'll answer all these questions as we explore the top 10 most powerful military vehicles of the Iranian army. In this ranking, we'll focus exclusively on land vehicles, leaving warships and aircraft for future contents. But before we start our exploration, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss a video. And now let's dive deep into the world of military technology with the first vehicle on our list. Number 10, Tufan MRAP. The Tufan, named after the Persian word for storm, or hurricane, is a robust and versatile armored vehicle developed by Iran's Ministry of Defense. Designed for use by the IRGC ground forces and Naja, the Tufan is built to handle both logistics and combat missions across diverse terrains. With a powerful 360 horsepower engine, it can navigate through 1.5 meters of water and overcome obstacles up to 50 centimeters high. This vehicle features advanced protection against landmines, IEDs, and bullets, thanks to its standing two or three ballistic armor. It can carry up to 10 personnel and is equipped with run-flat tires, allowing it to travel up to 31 miles on a flat tire. The Tufan can reach speeds of up to 62 miles per hour and boasts a V-shaped hull to deflect explosive impacts. While most of its components are locally produced, its gearbox, engine, and suspension are imported. Number 9. Husky VMMD The Husky Vehicle Mounted Mine Detection is a highly specialized MRAP vehicle developed by South African-based DCD Protected Mobility in collaboration with American company Critical Solutions International. Designed primarily for route clearance and demining operations, the Husky is equipped with advanced technologies to detect and neutralize explosives, including landmines and improvised explosive devices. Featuring a sharp V-shaped hull, the Husky is built to minimize blast effects by increasing ground clearance and redirecting explosive energy away from the vehicle's occupants. The vehicle's armor can withstand damage from basic explosives, while its modular design allows it to break apart in the event of a blast, with the energy absorbed by detachable front and rear modules. This design enhances safety for the crew inside the central cab. Number 8. Kraz 6322 The Kraz 6322 is a robust Ukrainian off-road truck designed to perform in the harshest conditions. Produced since 1994 by the Kraz factory in Kremenchuk, this six-wheel drive vehicle is built to handle extreme terrains and demanding tasks. It was first showcased at the 1994 Defense Industry Trade Show in Kyiv. Powered by a YMZ 238DE2 V8 diesel engine and paired with a 5-speed manual transmission, the KRAZ 632 offers reliable performance and durability. With a curb weight of around 26,680 pounds, it is built to endure heavy loads in challenging environments. The truck's rugged design and off-road capabilities make it an essential asset for both military and civilian use in tough conditions. The Kraz 6322 continues to be a key component of Ukraine's heavy vehicle fleet. Number 7. T-72 Raksh The T-72 is an Iranian-produced main battle tank that reflects Iran's adaptation of the classic Soviet-designed T-72. Initially developed in the 1970s by the Soviet Union, the T-72 quickly became a cornerstone of Soviet armored forces, succeeding the T-54-55 series and complementing more advanced models like the T-64 and T-80. Iran began production of the T-72 Raksh in the 2010s, modernizing the original Soviet design to meet contemporary requirements. The T-72 itself has been a significant presence in military arsenals worldwide, with around 25,000 units built since its introduction. Known for its robust design and adaptability, the T-72 has been continually updated in many countries, including Iran where the Raksh version incorporates local enhancements to improve its combat effectiveness and survivability on the battlefield. 
Number 6. EE-11 Urutu The EE-11 Urutu is a Brazilian amphibious armored personnel carrier developed from the EE-9 Cascavel armored car's chassis and drivetrain. Introduced in the early 1970s, the Urutu became Brazil's first fully amphibious armored vehicle capable of propelling itself through water at speeds up to 5 miles per hour using twin propellers. While initially intended for the Brazilian Army and Marine Corps, the Urutu found significant popularity in the Middle East, with large numbers purchased by countries such as Libya and Iraq. The vehicle was actively used during the Iran-Iraq War, which showcased its capabilities in a real-world conflict. Besides its amphibious and troop-carrying roles, various specialized versions of the Urutu have been developed for purposes like vehicle recovery, air defense, and medical evacuation. Today, approximately 50 Urutus remain in service, reflecting its lasting impact and versatility. Number 5. BTR-80 The BTR-80 is a Soviet-designed amphibious armored personnel carrier that entered service with the Soviet Army in 1985. It was created to transport troops close to the front lines, addressing the shortcomings of its predecessors, the BTR-60 and BTR-70, which were highlighted during the Soviet-Afghan War. Produced since 1984, the BTR-80 saw combat in the latter stages of the Afghan conflict and became the primary armored vehicle for infantry transport in the Russian armed forces throughout the 1990s. It has been widely used by many former Soviet republics and has seen significant export success in South America and Africa. The BTR-80 family has several variants, with the latest being the BTR-82A, introduced into Russian service in 2013. Despite ongoing development programs like the Typhoon and Armada projects aimed at replacing it, the BTR-80 remains in active use by Russian forces as of 2021. Number 4. Fodger 3 The Fodger 3 is a 240mm multiple launch rocket system developed by Iran and introduced in the 1990s. It is based on the North Korean M1985 MLRS, with some modifications. The Fodger 3 fires 12 240mm rockets from a launcher mounted on a Mercedes-Benz 2631 chassis, replacing the earlier Japanese Isuzu chassis. Each rocket measures about 5.2 meters in length, weighs 407 kilograms, and carries a 90-kilogram fragmentation warhead with 45 kilograms of high explosive. The system has a range of approximately 43 kilometers and can be fired singly or in salvo. It lacks a fire control system, but it does feature an indigenous computer system for range and azimuth calculations. The Fodger 3 is 10 meters long, 2.5 meters wide, and 3.34 meters tall. Despite its capabilities, it remains unarmored and has been used in various regional conflicts. Number 3. M48 Patton The M48 is an American main battle tank introduced in 1952 as the successor to the M47 Patton. Designed for a variety of roles, it was widely used by NATO forces and remains in service with countries such as Turkey, Taiwan, and Greece. Over the years, the M48 Patton has undergone numerous upgrades, including a transition from a gasoline engine to a diesel one and a shift from a 90mm to a 105mm main gun. The tank features a cast hull and turret, providing enhanced durability with armor thickness up to 120 mm, though it varies across different parts. The M48's design includes a robust one-piece hull structure, though it can cause resonance issues for the crew. The M48 Patton also boasts advanced suspension with 12 torsion bars and shock absorbers for improved mobility, six road wheels per side, and a track system with rubberized links. Number 2. M110 The M110 is a 240mm self-propelled howitzer produced in the United States, with 30 units currently in active service. It is designed for long-range artillery support, offering powerful firepower in a mobile platform. The M110 can deliver devastating artillery rounds over significant distances, making it a critical asset for field artillery operations. The vehicle features a robust, self-propelled design, allowing it to maneuver across diverse terrains while providing heavy fire support. Its artillery system is designed to engage targets at extended ranges, making it effective in both offensive and defensive roles. 
In addition to its artillery capabilities, the M110's self-propelled nature allows it to be rapidly repositioned on the battlefield, offering flexibility and increased operational effectiveness for artillery units. Number 1. Karar The Karar, named after the Persian word for striker or attacker, is an Iranian main battle tank that entered production in 2021. Announced in 2016, the Karar is designed as a modernized tank based on the Soviet T-72, incorporating elements from other tanks like the Russian T-90, the American M1 Abrams, and the British Challenger II. Manufactured at the Bani Hashim Defense Industrial Complex, the Karar features a 125mm 2A46 smoothbore gun equipped with a fume extractor and thermal sleeve. It also includes a remotely operated 12.7 meter machine gun mounted on the turret and the capability to fire anti-tank laser-guided missiles. A carousel autoloader enhances its firepower by automating ammunition loading. For protection, the Karar boasts advanced Iranian composite armor, explosive reactive armor panels, and additional slat armor. And there you have it, folks. These were the most powerful military vehicles of the Iranian army. From the advanced BTR-80 to the tough Karar, these vehicles represent the pinnacle of the Islamic Republic of Iran army. Which one impressed you the most? Let us know in the comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for new exciting contents. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay safe and always stay curious.